Just a quick video, I thought I'd do an install and kind of a review of the sprinkler timer and see how it works and if I like it or not. Now what's different about this one is it is an app related one, so it's kind of a two-part deal. This might work fine, but does the software and the, um, the app work good, you know? So if this is terrible, then it might not make this uh, worth doing. So that's what I'm gonna find out. Now let's open this. So I was looking here at these and this wire is loose. So that could be why I had trouble with one of the zones. That should be in there really tight. If it's not gonna be hooked up, it's not gonna water. So all I'm gonna do is disconnect all of these wires and I've already written down I know which ones go where. I'm gonna take the three screws out, remove this box from the wall, just pop the new one on and reconnect the wires. You can pick this up at uh, Home Depot for about 100 something, 120. Same keyhole, so I hope it fits. I hope I don't have to move that one. Look at that, nice. Oh, was that open? Yeah, it's open. So the mounting holes, you can just kind of put them wherever. You just drill through the plastic, but they have some that you gotta tap through there. And that's not gonna line up with this existing one. So I'm just gonna mount that later. Plus I might move this whole box. We're gonna skip the screwing it to the wall, but they get, do give you these little um, plastic expansion um, bits that you shove in there. And I'm sure most of you know how to do that. On the bottom, they have some knockout plugs for the wires. I think we'll use this one. Uh, see, you know, you don't have to rip that out like I did if uh, you just have one wire going in, but I got several, a couple at least. And back on the keyhole. There we go. Again, I'll put the uh, other screws in later. This is kind of lame. This is what the builders did. I'll, I'll do all this cleaner later. Okay, so they give you some other stuff um, here to hook up other things. You see common, common, common. Those are all the same. You could hook any common up to any one of those. It's not gonna matter. These are all the stations. So your station wires, you can put on any one of these. It's not gonna matter. It's just when you're programming it, um, the wire that's leading to that specific valve in the box that I showed you, uh, you know, if you want a specific one to go to the, be the first one that waters, then you put it on one and then two and three in whatever order you want. It's really uh, pretty simple to do all of this. So I'm just gonna put, let's see if I can do this without blocking the camera. I'm gonna unscrew it a little bit and then uh, screw it back down and that tightens it. Now this is a little off. This sticker is a little off, so it's... This sticker doesn't line up exactly, so it's it's kind of messing with my brain as to which wires go where. So this is going to take me just a second. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so this is two of them. This is two of them. This would be common. This would be pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, common. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, common, yeah. These wide ones are two, the skinny ones are one. All right. There we go. Okay, so all the commons are hooked up. Okay, so the park ship I think we'll do first. That'll be number one, that's yellow. And if this is common, that's pumped, and this is one. If you're wondering what pump is, some people need a pump to, um, I'm not sure, I've never seen it, but I know some people need a pump to get their water ready for using their sprinklers. Some sort of different water system that I've never been exposed to, but that's what that's for. Okay, and give them a pull, make sure they don't come out. Wiggle them, make sure they're in tight. Or you're not uh, gonna have much luck when it comes to the uh, station work. It might work for a little while, but then it might be intermittent as well once it starts getting more and more loose. Boy, this uh, sticker's way off. 
Now this is kind of no good. I should really trim these because when I smash these wires back in, I really don't want these crossing. Um, but uh, again, I'm running out of daylight. So if I were you, and your wires looked a bit like this, you know, trim back some of these a little bit because, again, when you push these wires together, you don't want them touching because that will uh, kind of screw things up. So we plugged it in, we have power. Here's the battery uh, paper. This thing just saves the battery from wearing itself out. It says to pull it. So there it is. It says no AC. Did we plug it in? Nope. Nope, we didn't plug it in. This is my video camera that's plugged in. Okay, so let's plug it in. There we go, big mess. So what I'm gonna do now is just have it on manual. I know there's a manual mode, but then I, just to get it going for over the weekend, because I'm done now. But we'll come back uh, Monday morning and program this up with the phone, see how it works. So let's see, manual. Oh, there we go. If I turn this dial, it goes to manual. Let's see if I can program this. Um, is this also enter? Oh yeah, it's pretty intuitive, thank goodness. Station all. How many minutes? Oh, I love it. Look at this, no manuals. I don't know. 15, that's good for me. And maybe it's running. I hear it. Let's go see, let me unplug the camera. Alright, how easy is that? Although I didn't do the full programming, I didn't set what time to do it and stuff, but you can see everything uh, is working. Well, these are four different watering times. You know, I'm not really going to get into programming all this. Okay, so let's change this watering, the start watering time. Let's do 5, 5.30 for now. Now, two, I don't want a second uh, watering time, so I'm going to hit clear. Good. See, don't have to, I just guess and it's right. That's when you know it's somebody programmed it well. So four, okay, there's the first watering time. Um, enter, enter, enter. Okay, so you guess just back, run time. Okay, now I can set the time on. Oh, man, this is just great. All right, well, anyway, you kind of get the hang of this. We don't really need to get into this too too much. This, this is designed well enough that I don't have to give you full tutorial on this, I don't think. Now let's take a quick look at the app. You can see it there. It's called Beehive. It's not called Orbit. All right, so there's the Wi-Fi signal strength, temperature and day. You can easily hit delay rain for 24 hours, clear delay, 48 hours, or... If I hit it here, I can do three plus days. This is how many days you want. Let's see how many goes up to 32. Uh, down here, uh, and I do like this interface. It's real simple. If I click the calendar, it shows these little dots on which days are programmed right now. I think it's just the uh, Sundays. This is nice as well. I can have my pre-programmed -pro summer schedule, fall schedule, or, you know, and I can change the names to these. I wrote summer, fall. Um, so you could have a spring, summer, fall, whatever, all your saved programs here. And, uh, I really like that. Let's see, what are we on there? That's home. That's where we already were. What's this one? Oh, okay. This one lets you take photos and include them here. So you don't have to just remember what the zone name is. You can also like this, it says front strip. You can label the zones. And if you had a soil um, sensor or whatever, it's going to show you how much water is in the soil right now. And uh, there's nothing hooked up, so it shows nothing. But that's an option for you. Uh, smart watering. That's kind of a detailed thing. We're not going to get into that. But it's an automatic adjustment where you would tell this um, application the, how many sprinkler heads you have, how many, um, what kind they are. Are they watering, you know, your plants or are they watering lawn? Uh, what kind of soil you have? Are you on a slope? I mean, it's really detailed and you can do all that and then it will calculate um, a good schedule for you. And I haven't used that, so I don't know how well it works, but let's see. Notifications, this is a good one. 
If you enable notifications, it'll um, message you when your watering's finished. If you want, you can turn that on. Uh, if a rain delay is going on, if a, if there's a, a freeze warning, you know, if your plants are going to die and they're out in the cold, it'll tell you, hey, tonight it uh, could get below freezing, which is really helpful. Um, timer faults. So if there's something wrong with the timer, it'll message you. And that should be on. So I'll, I'll uh, set that up after this video. What else? Your watering history. It'll tell you when it's been going. And uh, you can hook up more than one, you know. Some people have a huge property and need multiple stations. So you can control them all there. And uh, that's about it. It's really simple software. And this is a nice, clean look to it. I uh, really like this. So they did a good job with that. Nice job, guys. Anyway, that's it for the review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer. And uh, I actually did this um, part of the video, this software part, almost a year later. The stuff you saw before was about a year ago. So I've been using this quite a while and it's, I had no problems with this uh, timer. So they made a nice one. Take care guys and I will see you next time.